Hello everyone. Asanzo Mayua's mother cried in an emotional video and said it's been full nine years since his son Senzo Mayua was killed and till this day the suspect hasn't been arrested. She had the interview with the ENCA news and today marks the nine years since the football star was shot and killed at, at the Kelekumalo's home in Fosleras. Senzo's mother said that the reason why they haven't got justice is because they are poor and why can't the person who killed him come out and admit that they have killed his son. Today on the 26th of October, people gathered together at the high court in Pretoria to peacefully protest and they want justice for the Bafana Bafana Cape Town and said it's been nice. Because here yeah, we are lectured by the law, but the law failed this guy. As the trial is continuing in the Pretoria High Court, there were mounting problems for the state after it emerged in court that accused number two Bongani Danza was charged and only had his rights read to him 12 hours after he first made a confession related to the murder of Senzo Meyua. A document handed to the court and it showed that Ndanze was charged for unlawful possession of a firearm at 10.45 on the 19th of June 2020. He had been arrested in Rustenburg on 16 June 2020 before making a disputed confession at the Morocco police station in Soweto at about 11 a.m. on the 19th of June. The court is currently in a trial within a trial to determine if confessions made by Ndanzi and Musika Ukalelwa Zibia were taken freely and voluntarily. Both accused claimed that they were assaulted, tortured and tubed by police officers to make damning confessions implicating them in the Mayuat murder. Tubing is an apartheid era tactic that involves the accused being suffocated with a plastic bag, causing the suffocation. Advocate Mgomezulu for accused number one and two revealed a right sheet from the Pokang police station which showed Ndanzi had been charged for unlawful possession of firearm on 19 June 2020. A right sheet is a form that explains the right of an accused. There were also no signature of an interpreter when Danzi was arrested. Danzi had allegedly made a confession in relation to the mayor murder to justice of the peace officer, Lieutenant Colonel Mohale Rapadu, at about 11 a.m. on the same day. Advocate Gomez will put it to Rapadu that did he indicate if he was charged in another case. Rapadu said yes, I didn't go into the details as I had the knowledge that he was arrested on another case. The legal analyst Tabiseng Dubazana of Dubazana Atenis told the news from Africa that any evidence obtained before an accused had his rights read out to him could be deemed inadmissible by a court of law. Another legal commentator, Elton Hart from the University of Johannesburg Law Clinic, spoke to SAPC News and slammed the shoddy police work in the Mayua murder investigation and said it felt like the police investigation was intentionally being derailed to look like there was an investigation. The witness Rapadu told the court that he did not explain to the accused that he was innocent until proven guilty by a court of law and that the confession did not equate to a conviction. He had also conducted the confession without the use of an interpreter, though he told the court that he was competent in Isizulu. He said, my understanding is that the confession was still going to be put before a court. I did not presume anything based on the confession. Advocate Mgomezulu repeated his client's claim that he had been assaulted, tortured, and tubed, and said he was tubed next to a dumping site in Albertine. The witness said, what can I say? When he was brought to me, he never mentioned anything. He was just free and was a happy person. Mgomezulu also said Ndanzi's first confession statement was not taken at the Morocco police station, but it had come with investigation officer Brigadier Bungani Gininda, who came with an already filled confession that was signed and thumb printed in an open area next to a dump site in Orlando. Rapadu said he had no knowledge of this, and Gomezulu said the rest of the thumb printing 
was completed at an office at the Morocco police station. He further said that he did not make his statement freely and voluntarily append a signature on the statement. He was coerced to append a signature. The five accused in the Sons of Mia murder trial are Musika Ukalelo Sibiya, Bongani Ntanzi, Ntobi Singube, Ntogo Zisen Mapisa, and Fisogut Ntulu. The trial within a trial is continuing on Friday. Share your views on this one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for my news.